right, Blues Ferrets. Welcome back, Jason Ritchie here. Today, we're gonna be learning one easy lick and how to play the same lick on the one, the four, and the five chords of a standard 12 bar blues progression. Now you've heard this lick before, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on each chord. All right, so here we go. We'll start with the one, and then we'll move to the four, and then the five, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Here we go. The five draw, the five blow, and then the four draw. Five draw, five blow, four draw. Ba ba da, ba ba da. I'm tongue blocking it, but you could go. So you could use the octave, or you could play single notes. So that's what we'll do on the G chord, or the one chord of any blues. Now when we go to the four chord, we're going to repeat that exact same pattern, except to play it over a C7 chord or the four of a blues. So I'm gonna start on three draw bend, and then I'm gonna go down to three double bend, and then down the two draw. So on the one it was four. That gives me the flat seven of four, or of C, down to the six of C, to the fifth of C. Same as. In order to do that same thing on the five chord, I'm going to have to play four blow, three draw, and then three draw double bend. And that only happens once on bar nine of a 12 bar because there's only four beats there. Back to four, back to one, back to one and then we start over. Let's review it one more time. Okay, here we go. On the one. Four. Five. Four. Now I'll improvise a little bit, ready?
times. Gonna do that twice. Back through the root. One more time. Five. Four. Oh, I can put this into any shuffle. I can put any licks in between that I want to. Like say, take my easy blues lick. that one lick in between each one of those things that I just showed you. that I'm repeating, and then I'm just putting other stuff in there, but I could play. just going up really the major pentatonic scale or part of it anyway it's like the juke lick except I'm skipping the three double bend I'm just going two draw three draw four draw five blow six blow and then putting in the lick in between these the main thing is that you're learning to play one thing on one chord one thing on another chord and one thing on the last chord so one more time in review five draw five blow four draw for the one chord three draw bend three double bend two draw for the four chord four blow three draw three double bend for the five chord <laughs> One, one, four. Five. Cool, have fun with it. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> super easy, super useful lick. 
Thank you very much. That about wraps up another free Friday. Every single Friday right here on YouTube, I'm giving you free harmonica lessons. Subscribe below to the channel. There's 16 years worth of these videos. Now they've gotten better recently, and I know you know it. And that's because you guys are supporting me, not only by subscribing, but also by going over to Patreon, contributing a dollar a month. It's 25 cents a lesson for every Friday. You can contribute more if you want to. Every time you help me out on Patreon, you're also helping me keep motivated to keep these free videos going for somebody else out there that doesn't have a credit card, that doesn't even have a dollar a month, that keeps me delivering them no matter how busy I get. YouTube Free Fridays is a priority. Additionally, if you go over to Patreon, I got a lot of vlogs and blues stories to tell you how I'm doing, I'll tell you what I'm up to. I'd like to thank all of my sponsors, Blue Moon Harmonicas, playing this cool marine band with a green Corian cone. My Honer Harmonicas, right? I get some parts from Blue Moon, I get cool covers, I get cool combs, but I put them on Honer Harmonicas. Thank you, Honer. I'd like to thank the Lone Wolf Blues Company, I was playing through Lone Wolf pedals today. I was playing the Heartbreak pedal <clears throat> into a flat cat compression. And I was using a Harp Shield too, a Harp Shield anti-feedback all through the Jason Ritchie signature mic, right? It's a cool mic. It's like a 57, except you can hold it better. It's got a volume control. It comes in XLR or quarter inch. Through a Harp Gear 410 amplifier, same amp I've had for 16 years. Beautiful, big, giant, loud tube amp. I'll see you next Friday, and I'll see you even sooner on my Patreon page. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.